Hello everyone, my name is Uldorico Baluca Jr. and my research proposal to discuss is about features perceptions in teaching MAPE during the new normal basis for an intervention plan. Now, this will be the content of the presentation. First is the introduction, the literature review, what is the objectives of this study, why I pursue this study, research methodology, and survey questionnaire. Now, let's dive into the study topic. First is the introduction. MAPE is underrated, hated by the non-specialized teachers to teach specially music. In my experience and observation, in teaching two different schools, I found out that most of the teachers don't like to, to handle the said subjects. The newly hired teachers, or the novice, could do nothing but to take the subject passed by the old teachers. Even though the novice teachers are lack of experience in coping mechanisms within the field that somehow lead them to frustration, burnout, and stress, and even leave the field of education due to lack of administrative support, lack of professional development, etc. The purpose of this study is to determine the perception of teachers and their coping mechanism on the challenges and problems encountered by grades 1 to 6 teachers in Feliciano Cabuco Elementary School in teaching MAPE since most of the teachers in elementary are non-specialized. Also, to determine the percentage of teachers who like to teach MAPE in the new normal and those who don't, based on the four components, music, arts, PE, and health. On the extent of difficulties, this paper is organized according to terms stated to distinguish the low extent encountered by the teachers from learning resources and materials, competencies, computation of grades, preparation of class records, budget of work, learning modalities, academic advice and mentoring. This study is organized thematically about their knowledge and skill, their perception, their challenges and problems encountered, and what coping mechanisms they use. Next, I will be discussing the objectives of this study. This study will determine the perception of teachers and their coping mechanism on the challenges and problems encountered by teachers in teaching MAPE, utilizing a survey tool to gather data. Specifically, the study solves answers to the following questions. What is the demographic profile of the teacher in terms of age, gender, years in service, educational attainment, and their specialization. And what are their attitude towards teaching MAPE by using the 5 Likert scale? And also to know what are their common challenges and problems encountered in terms of learning resources and materials, competency, computations of grades, preparation of class record, budget of work, learning modality, trainings, academic advice, and mentoring. And also to know which components of MAPE do they like to teach. By using the 5-point Likert scale, the researcher sought to know their perceptions regarding the following. Do we lack of learning resources and materials? Is it our competencies are hard to understand? Are there difficulties in computation of grades in four components at a time? Difficulties in preparation of class record in four components at a time? Budget of work in MAPE is hard to apply? Is it learning modalities are hard to disseminate? Do we lack of trainings? Lack of academic advice and mentoring? Do we lack of knowledge and skill in four components? 
By the way, if you may ask, why do I intend to pursue this study? The reasons are, teacher's competency in the 21st century is to have a firm knowledge of the curriculum of his or her subject. The responsibilities of the teachers rest with them to nurture the creativity of the young students. Second, the quality of education depends on how the teachers facilitate, perform the subject prior to their knowledge. The third one is, to demand high quality learning, it requires the skills of the professionals in performing it. Now, we are going to proceed about the method. This study will use the most straightforward method called simple random sampling to help ensure high internal validity. The respondent of this study are 42 grades 1 to 6 teachers of Feliciano Cabuco Elementary School who are teaching MAPE. And lastly, I will be discussing about the questionnaire of the study. The researcher will specifically use the frequency type Likert scale and also incorporate the multiple choice type of questions. The questionnaire are divided into three parts. First is the frequency. To weigh in how many teachers likes or dislikes in teaching MAPE or what component do they like and to know their perception. The next one is the demographic. To know the profile of teachers teaching MAPE in terms of age, gender, years in service, educational attainment, and their specialization. The third one is the coping mechanisms. This is how to gather information and data of teachers and their coping mechanisms used on the challenges and problems encountered in teaching MAPE. What coping mechanisms do they apply to adapt on the changes brought by the new normal? Now, for the plans for distribution and retrieval, it is either through email, through messenger, or Google Forms for everyone's safety due to our current situation. Thank you.